You've been hearing about drones and how they use in IoT scenarios. What you might not know is the amount of data these drones are collecting for very sophisticated systems. We have Vizio on the IoT show today to tell us everything about this huge amount of data, how it's analyzed at the edge, and how it's delivered to their customers. watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivia, your host. We are on the road. We are at Ignite 2019 in Orlando. And I have with me people from Viseo. We have Vincent and Igor. They are here to tell us about the, the massive data collection that drones are used to uh, and the analytics you can implement. And we'll talk about like concrete scenarios. Guys, thanks for joining the IoT Show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So guys, who are you? What are you doing? What is Viseo? And what kind of solutions are you guys building? Okay. Well, Vincent Savancam, I'm at the head of a, a smart factory for Viseo, okay. and I'm dealing a lot of, um, on the topic of IoT, and okay. we'll see what we're doing. From my side, I'm Igor Levontiev, I'm Chief Cloud Solution Architect at Viseo, and I'm a guy from technical side, okay. and I'm responsible for all, every technical implementation. Cool. So in the title of this show, we uh, mentioned drones, so we don't have a drone actually hovering with us. Uh, we wanted to talk about what are drones used for and what are the challenges presented by the collection of a massive amount of, of pictures, photos, image, and also other types of data you can collect with drones uh, and how they use and, and what the problems are when it comes to managing this kind of amount of data, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So for this example, we chose our customer Altametris, who is a, a spin-off of the SNCF, the French Railway, because we will see a huge amount of data that is needed to be processed. So, okay, so what for, kind of data typically? Yeah, what, what, typically what the, the type of data, we have many types of data, the pictures, huge amount of high quality pictures, we've got videos, a, a lot of videos, yeah. and also we have a large number of laser dots taken from the LIDAR, and when I say large, for example, we, can, we will see a demo, 42 billion of laser dots, 42 billion, which okay. means if you give one dot per uh, to uh, every single person on the planet, uh, we would need five planets to, okay. to hold uh, the, the amount of data. And what, what are they uh, using that data for? What is it for? Yeah, so we're using that for our customer to do maintenance, okay. asset maintenance, asset tracking, because so far it's been decades that uh, we, the SNCF uh, is deploying assets on the railway. Okay. So it's uh, 32,000 uh, kilometers of railway across France. Okay. And we don't know uh, after so many decades the exact amount of uh, assets. So okay. we have to track them and to obviously to change them before it's been damaged. Okay, so the principle is like to send a drone or a vehicle that actually is gonna go along the railway and capture all that data yeah, uh, along exactly. the way, right? Yeah, exactly, okay. and you said that right. It's not only drones, it's yeah. vehicles. So yeah. it could be anything else, it could be a plane, it could be yeah. helicopters, so. So is the data streamed? up to the cloud or is it well, stored locally? our customer wish to, to stream the data. That's okay. ideal, the magic. But the problem is that uh, the autonomy of the drones and uh, the bandwidth. So okay. we can't do that. Okay. So what we're going to show is the trick that we're using. It's, okay. It was novel and uh, it's called now IoT Edge. Okay. So we're putting a lot of technology, IoT Edge, on this, on this uh, drone capturing the, the data. Okay. And we'll, we'll present that. Okay. Let's jump into that demo, Igor. Okay, yeah. firstly, we need to understand when the drop is arrives. Okay. We have uh, its process to upload this data to cloud itself. Okay. In the working of the drone, we are only sending the telemetry information about okay. uh, this position, the uh, status of the battery, or just only basic information. Okay. When the drop arrives, he uploads its own data. It okay. can be from one gigabyte till one terabyte okay. without the problem. Because if you are talking about the small piece of the part, it's not exactly, it's not a lot. But when we are talking about 400 railways uh, or like all of the France, it can be a huge amount of data yeah. Yeah. which we need to process. Okay. The drone upload is yeah. uh, data in raw format. Okay. For example, for leader, for, uh, for leader, it's the last. It's the extension of the file, special file. Okay. Which, special type of file. Yeah. yeah. Which we after analyze and creation the 3D visualization. Okay. Actually, how it looks like. And typically, before you start the demo, uh, the use case that we're solving <laughs> is that usually it takes a huge amount of time to take the pictures from the drones, 
send that, bring that to the office, yeah. send the email that saying, yeah, okay, I've got the pictures and stuff like that. So it's yeah. weeks. Yeah. Then you've got the processing. And at the end of that, we can, the, the engineer can start to work. So we are going to see how we can okay. make it easier. Okay. Actually, what you are see on the screen, yeah. this is a railway from Paris in France okay. to Lyon. Okay. It's about 450 kilometers. Okay. And this uh, this distance was flight by the plane okay. and captured all of the data. The model of the plane control of the capturing of this data. Okay. And when it's arrived to the stable bandwidth connection, okay. to the stable internet yeah. connection, it's upload this data to Azure File Share. Okay. It's special white file share because after we have the custom processes which uh, are using the logic apps yeah. to start the new container instance in okay. which we are mapped these uh, uh, files okay. from drone directly to file system. Okay. And this container itself is making the treatment, necessary treatment. On the, on the, the drone, on the, on the moving part, right? So basically you're putting the model that's going to do the treatment on IoT Edge on, at the edge, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Got and it. after, what is going to... And the result of the, this treatment, mm -hmm. we upload this information to the blob storage. Okay. So here on the right-hand side, you can see some uh, number of dots, laser yeah, dots. Yeah. So it's few hours of capturing. Okay. So you can see only with few hours, you've got a huge, a large number of dots. Yeah. You can see it's so precise that you can see even the wire, the electrical wires. So you can see the dots that uh, appears here. Okay. And after, the professional mm -hmm. who is working in railway company yeah. can analyze this picture and he can zoom it, he can change uh, the type of the uh, visualization. He can change, for example, if he wants to work on the black, yeah. red, and yeah. he yeah. have its own pers yeah. personal things to work with this image. And this is very good because after, it's not, Altimetris is responsible only for a result of this data. They do not have the capacity to explain exactly what was right here we have a little turn left, yeah, yeah, here yeah. we have a turn right. And after the consumer of this data railwalk network can tell what is good, what is not good. Okay. So this is just the beginning of the story. That's when they can start to work. And for example here, uh, on this detail, what is uh, that can be used for is for example, if you want to increase the, uh, the railway station yeah. or use another model of train, they can not only simulate, they can measure precisely because it's laser dots. They can calculate the, the, the distance square meters. Between, yeah. They can measure from their seat. They okay. don't have to go on field and do the with the tripod okay. and do the measurements. Love it, love it. So massive, massive data analytics at the edge, optimized for specific models and specific configurations. Exactly. Uh, and then you, you basically deliver the, the analyzed bits yes. to the final customer. Yes. Okay. yes. This was the first type of the data. Okay. Now, let's focus on the second type. Okay. Let's imagine you have the railway. On yeah. this railway, you have the bridge. Okay. You need to analyze what's happening with this bridge. Okay. Your drone or your vehicle is passing just near okay. and make a big photo. This photo, okay. for example, 100 megapixels. Okay. By the big way, camera. Big camera, very huge one. <laughs> and by the way, you cannot open this photo on your laptop. It's because it's really complicated. Unless, and so, unless you have a server laptop. Yeah. Got it. Okay. 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 And what we are doing, when, when the photo is uploaded, yeah. we are separated this photo by small photos. Okay. Actually, we divided the, fo uh, the whole picture by small pieces. Okay. And after, we are proposing to analyze this small feature also in the web interface. Okay. Here, it looks your bridge. You can yeah. see the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Let's zoom on it. Okay. This Let's is one of, you can see that we are zooming without the losing the quality. Wow. Okay. So it's special technique of photo. Nice. Yes. Nice. And so here we can analyze that everything is going well with this bridge. Yeah. This bridge is passing. We do not have any problems in it and everything is well. And so we, the, the yeah. good thing is that we could zoom to, to the very precise detail up yeah. until the bolt and the weld yeah. to see if the bolt is uh, Will, is broken or not, so we can see very precisely. Yeah. So without having to send someone physically go and check yeah. it out. So basically, your drone that is flying over is is solving the problem of having to send people yeah. Yeah. Like visually and like look at that. And you can do it more often as well. 
Exactly. Then and then the same thing with people day. on the field. The problem is that uh, they have sometimes to have to stop the trains. Yep. Otherwise, people can get injuries yep. by measuring the, the various uh, assets. Yep. So that's uh, in safety. It's really good. Yep. It's one of the key points. Awesome. Because the train like is passing about 300 kilometers per hour. It's uh, it's huge one. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. somebody will work here. It's high risk. So you really need to have this granularity and that precision. So you really need to have a lot of data yeah. that is made available. Cool. On the top of that, we have also drones that are not that expensive. Yeah. And we send them over here, uh, this area. Yeah. Why? It's that because when the, the train arrives, if instead of uh, hitting a very expensive drone, they can be, you can hit smaller drones, and the train uh, can still go on without yeah. uh, affecting the uh, the railway. Disposable drones. Basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now. Let's switch to dynamic visualization. Okay, something moving. Yes. Okay. You can see it's it's moving. Yes. Let's imagine the case. You have the construction near railways. Okay. This construction actually taking the time. Okay. For example, the building can be constructed up to one year or something like this. You need to analyze how your construction is going. Yep. And that is why you're making the uh, actually, the dynamic visualization, yeah, yeah. dynamic photo, is a set of high-quality photos okay. after we, we uh, which we are rendered in one panorama. Okay. okay, let's look. And we combine this technique with the, the laser dots that we saw earlier on. Okay. For example, to to see when the tree grows, if the tree will hit or not the railway station. Okay, basically, so like kind of do prediction yes, of how the vegetation yes. is going to affect so your line. Tree's got the, the AI that does yep. the prediction. So we combine those two information okay. to do that. Nice. Okay, here, like you can see, this me as a drone, let's imagine, and now I'm trying to see what is happening. Here on the right, I, I see that something is happening. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is happening. We can zoom on it, and we can see how the construction going. And let's imagine which detailization we had. We had how it's constructed and which materials we have here. Wow. And okay. we can predict, for example, that on this stage, the professional can tell that this construction will be finished maybe in one month. Nice. And as a part, it will save the life, actually. Save lives, you can and monitor money. Your, uh, your, your, your workers, actually, as well. Make sure yeah. they're actually doing their work uh, and that they're safe, I guess, as well. Exactly, yeah. Awesome, fascinating. Well, that's that's pretty interesting, actually. How IoT devices? We talk about IoT devices sharing the data with other systems like the cloud and others, but it's interesting to see that in context. Yeah. Finally, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you very thanks much for coming on the IoT show. Uh, if you want to learn more about Visio, you can go to aka.ms/iotshow/visio, and uh, you'll have more information about what the company can do and how they're leveraging IoT data. See you soon. See you soon. See you, See you soon bye as bye. well on the IT Show Live. Thank you.